Recently, as I've talked about in my past videos, I've been having kind of a tough week. I've been feeling a bit down, a bit frustrated, and yesterday I just had a really off and bad day. And usually this would last months for me, this would be, take me out for months and I'd just be feeling really depressed and kind of just not doing anything for several months on end, even up to like a year. But the voice in my head that's kind of pushing me on has gotten louder and louder as I've tried to change. And this came from like experience and correlation, becoming aware of like how the things that I was doing was making me feel and where it would lead me. Because there's this great thing called hedonic adaptation. And it states that the more you try to chase pleasure, the more the less pleasurable, the less pleasure you're going to get. And you're going to adapt to whatever set pleasure you're going to get. So you're going to need more to get the same amount of pleasure. So basically, you're going to need more and more things to feel pleasurable. And I just became aware of that kind of thing, you know, like how did I feel after watching porn? How did I feel after playing video games, after watching movies? How did that make me feel? How do I feel after it? And in my head, these things seem easier, you know, it's like, oh, this is the good pleasurable thing. It's like really exciting for the brain, but it's never as good as you think it's going to be. And it's kind of funny because what your brain thinks is going to be better for you, which is what's going to be more pleasurable for you, what your emotional side wants, actually doesn't give you any satisfaction. It's really kind of shallow and it dies off really quickly and gives you like this big dip. <laughs> but then like doing something hard feels terrible, but it's never as bad as you think as well. So becoming aware of these kind of things made me realize that I wanted to change, but since I had emotional turbulence because I felt so bad, I felt so behind everyone, there was a massive discrepancy between where I was, where I wanted to be, where other people were. And that created like this compensa compensation that I needed to make. You know, I felt like I had to do more. I had to go completely cold turkey. I had to completely uplift and change my life as I've talked about in my past videos. And it didn't really work. What did work for me was replacing video games and watching movies with creating YouTube content. And the mind rebels when you try and go cold turkey because you're trying to do too much and your and my emotional mind is like, wants, doesn't, doesn't want that, it rebels against it. And I've found it really hard to do that. And I've realized that you've got to kind of go from the level where you're at, like I've been talking about before. Now I'm actually having to apply it. And it's better to, consciously choose to indulge in something than to do it emotional because would you would you rather have an unconscious binge that you didn't plan on that you didn't want that just happened because you're trying to put it off for so long like i like i've had in the past or choosing a time to kind of satisfy your mind and kind of cool it down and make it a bit easier and then it's easier to do the work because you're like, oh, I can still do these things. I can still do what I normally do. That feels great. That kind of makes my mind excited, but I just have to do it later. And then it allows this period where you can still be productive. And if you're kind of resistant to this and you're like, no, but I want to change it all now, that's kind of the ego popping in. And that's what I would have thought when I was watching this video, but just listen and try and understand because this isn't forever. I'm not telling you that you continue your bad habits and you do them forever. And because we do want to change, like, and these things aren't entirely beneficial to our lives, which is what I've realized. And over time, you can reduce it and make it smaller and smaller and consciously like reduce it. So then you're not doing as much and it's not having as big as an impact. Or eventually you might have a mindset shift like I've had and this is how I was able to pull myself out of my rut recently that I had the past week and that I had a, when I had a day off, a really bad day yesterday, and now I'm back doing everything I normally would, was that I have this mindset shift that I know that creating these videos brings me a lot more fulfillment than watching porn, than watching a movie, than playing video games. 
because I've invested in this for a long time. I've seen the results in it. And when you see results, putting, putting effort into something and you see the results of it, it's much more fulfilling because it has more worth because you put value into it. And so a mindset shift kind of occurs when you just become aware of what the, where these things are going to lead you, what the future is going to be like if you continue these things, but also just continuing doing the things that you want to do, where you want to go and kind of seeing results in these kind of things. And then eventually you won't even want to do those bad habits, those immediately pleasurable things because you'll get even more satisfaction from doing the harder things. And another thing that I've learned is at the start, you have to use what you have. Like you can't wait for motivation. You can't wait for meaning. You can't wait to feel purposeful. And what I had was negative emotions and you can use them. Like I'm using them to create these videos, to delve into my psyche and not just give into them and watch another, <laughs> watch more porn or watch another video game or whatever, which isn't going to give me much or make me feel very better. But facing these um, negative emotions and using them and kind of delving into them to create these videos to try and help other people that have been in similar situations to I have or to use it in music to express myself or in art or even just working out like using <laughs> using sadness to work out is kind of interesting it, it's funny because you think oh when you feel sad you don't really want to do much but I've found that it can help me to kind of work out and to push through a workout when I don't want to. And this pain can be motivating. And nothing of value is earned. I've got a quote here. Nothing of real worth can ever be bought. Love, friendship, honour, valour, respect. All these things have to be earned. This is a quote from David Gemmell, my favourite fiction author. He's great. He's just great. I just love him. Anyway, this is what I'm trying to put across is that meaning, happiness, all these things, they have to be earned. They have to be created. They have to, they don't just come to you. Like pleasurable things can kind of come to you, but they're, they're shallow. They're weak because you haven't earned them. And doing these kind of things, doing these things that are pleasurable kind of lowers your baseline and I realized that when I was doing these sorts of things and I was having trouble trying to change, I was having a lot of trouble getting up in the morning. And of course, of course it sucks getting up in the morning because when I've been training myself to watch video games, to watch video games, to watch movies, to watch TV shows, to watch porn, to wank, to eat junk food, all these sorts of things. Like, of course, getting up in the morning is going to feel terrible because I'm used to just doing whatever's easiest, whatever's pleasurable. And it's easy to just eat these foods. It's easy to do these things because it's immediately pleasurable and getting up in the morning is not. So, of course, it was going to be tough to get up in the morning. Because my baseline for enjoyment was so low because of hedonic adaptation. And this is the saying that I've been getting to. This is the title of the video. Pleasure begets pain. Meaning happiness is built and it can be. It's not something that can occur immediately to you in that something that you get from doing something, but you can create the ideal circumstances for these things to occur. Pain is growth and it's an investment for long term if done in the right way. And like, be sensible about this, of course, because there is a point where you're being mas masochistic yeah, just where you're using pain to kind of hurt yourself because you feel like you deserve it and that sort of thing. And that's not a great kind of way to go about it. But doing these painful things kind of raises the level that I was talking about and kind of keeps at bay hedonic adaptation. And hedonic adaptation kind of occurs for these kind of things as well. And although they suck, you start to... Once you start to see results after a, a longer time, these things compound and it takes time to see results. But once you choose these hard choices and you raise the level and things become easier, then of course it's going to be easier to get up in the morning. Of course it's going to be easier to just enjoy a walk, to enjoy living because 
you've been chasing pain, you've been building up your toughness and your grit. And I've found that doing these things makes life just a bit more easy, a bit more enjoyable because you're, I'm able to deal with the difficulties because I'm expecting it. And when I'm expecting adversity, then things become easier. Hard choices, easy life. Change really takes everything. It sounds exciting. It sounds really great. Like, oh, yes, I'm just going to go through the pain. I'm just going to grit it all. I'm going to get through it. I'm going to feel so great. It's not that way at all. There's so many motivating videos about, oh, yeah, just get through it. And, oh, wake up at 4am, Joker and Willink and David Goggins. Oh, it's so tough. And this video is kind of showing that, yes, what they're saying is important, but it sucks. It's plain, it's simple in its style. Leg days, they suck. Working out close to failure kind of sucks. Getting up early kind of sucks, but once you get used to it and once you get used to it and you do it more and then you start seeing results for it and you start feeling better about it because you're gaining control of your life, you're actually seeing that you can change and you're building meaning and you're building happiness in your life, then it starts to become a bit more worth it. But as I said, it's still plain, it's dull, it's boring and simple. Change is hard, but if it wasn't, it wouldn't be worth it. Thank you for watching. My name is Malin and I'll see you in the next video.